Hello everyone, I'm now selling my helmet on eBay like I showed in my previous video. I'm doing a very in-depth um, instructional video about everything. Um, <coughs> right now, I'm going to show you everything that has to do with it, everything that it can do, and like I said in another video, there's a bunch of different possibilities and limitless ideas for this type of device that I created. Now, like I said, I'm, I didn't fully create this. I'm just implementing a lot of stuff, kind of like a fabrication. Really, everything I do is just from somebody else's work, I guess. I'm not going to say that I made this from scratch or anything. I just put a lot of people's products together that I found online and made something out of it. So, I don't know if that's a fabrication or what it is. And I'm not buying anything or doing anything about I'm just I just made it for my own personal use for a little while now right now I'm selling it like this helmet matter of fact was for a Halloween prop I was a uh, Nightwing at my job and um, that's basically why I have this Nightwing symbol bit really because Nightwing was Robin and that's Robin symbol anyway uh, back to the what this does exactly this is a video gaming helmet it works for PS3 computer basically PC Let's see got a VGA connector and uh, I'm pretty sure Xbox 360 now the only reason I'm not sure if it'll work with the other stuff just yet like uh, PS4 or Xbox One because this doesn't have HDMI on it so um, that's the only bad part about it for right now and uh, I mean I have an idea of how you could get HDMI but I just didn't buy the part for it but uh, anyway these glass the the way it views video is the way it views videos is it has a Vuzix um, video wearing glasses built into the headphone in, into the helmet. So as soon as you would slip the helmet on, well, I'm going to show you. you can turn it over. I'll show you right there. These are actually video wearing glasses. They show at 720p. They're the Rap 1200. I think is what it's called and um, they view any kind of video I have the other I have it came with the box and everything and I'm gonna give you guys the box and all the connections because the way it plays uh, the video is through these little hand controllers that there's you'll be getting two of them this one right here is just for um, the PC version there's PC version, then you have one that you can actually hook up to iPhones, uh, iPad. They have all different types of connectors for you that I have inside this box that it came with the glasses. And uh, it has the RCA cable, you know, video in, the, and then the left audio and right audio. So uh, you'll have all, all those connectors. Anyway, um, back to the helmet though, it has built-in Bluetooth stereo headset, so you can actually listen to music, or say like you're playing, I don't know, Modern Warfare, or Grand Theft Auto, or something like that, you can actually talk and chat, see right here, use both sides, ear headphones, and um, there is a slide out mic on the side right here. I just turned it over, see, sideways. This this is a Havoc, I think. And actually there is it actually slides out. That's why I built this little side slot. It actually slides right out of there. All the way out. And you can see the little I don't know if you can actually see it. Hold on. Kinda of zoom in a little bit. You actually have the little hole right here where you can see the uh, little mic part right there it's right 
here, that little hole. That's where the mic is. Anyway, slides in and goes slides out and goes right back in there with no problems. And uh, uh there we go. Better view. Slides in and goes right back out with no problems whatsoever. It's very comfortable. I haven't had any problems. And I even thought about heat. Like, I mean, if you're wearing a helmet for so long, I'm pretty sure it'll get hot eventually. So, I built in a PC fan is built into the headset. Now, it doesn't blow air on you. It only sucks the air out. And basically, it's like for a, it's like a heat sink. What it does, it's, it takes the air, hot air that's inside the helmet and disperses it out the top of the helmet. I'm gonna show you in a second, but I want to get you let you guys see the the video glasses one more time. It's very clean in here. There's no problems. The, all the wires are behind all this foam, and right now this is a medium helmet, and it fits my head pretty well. But if you wanted to um, make it fit yours, all you have to do really is just cut alongside this foam. I mean, you can see how bit thick this foam is. It's just at least. As a matter of fact, it is exactly one inch in um, in thickness. So uh, you can you could just cut around it if you wanted to. It's not no special foam or anything. It's just padding for you know, like insulation and for like to mount your head in. So it's perfect for who whoever has a medium sa sized head, I guess. And uh, I'm trying to make this video kind of quick because I have to upload it to YouTube and all that. But um, anyway. Yeah, see at the top right now, that's where the fan is. That's where it disperses all the heat and works just fine. And uh, not only does it have Bluetooth headsets and a video wearing glasses and a fan, it actually has a 720p um, video uh, camera. It's a webcam and you'll see it in a second this is I have all the connectors that come out the back of the helmet right at the back of the neck you'll see right there there's four three wires there's exactly three wires one's for the glasses the to the controller and that one splits off to the power source would be USB and then it goes into the VGA so you can get your video feed to the glasses. Then, and that's just one wire because that all that other stuff, the VGA and the power feed, is coming from the controller. But the glasses has only one wire coming up from from the back of the helmet. And uh, then I have the other two wires are USB two. So uh, this USB right here is for the power to the fan. So you need for whatever you're running, you're gonna need at least three USB um, power uh, support. Basically, three USB connections in order to give the full, the helmet full power for everything. Because the glasses are powered through USB, the fan right here is powered through USB, and then the um, this is for the webcam. So um, it has a built-in webcam in the front. So say like you're walking around you want to show off to your friends or whatever the you can actually walk around with this helmet say like I had my laptop hooked up to it for my costume and uh, you can actually see everything through that video right there that first hole uh, let me zoom out just a little bit trying to autofocus here there you go that first hole right there on the front of the helmet is for the video display the second one is for audio to the webcam so you could view your video game plays while you're, while you're doing it. Say like you have your TV hooked up and you want to view playback or something like that. Or if you had to switch over to like, you know, you're playing your game, but you hear something going on. You could switch over, say like you're on your computer. Like I've done it already to where like I was watching a TV show. And all you have to do is get some kind of program that lets you view, um have a, a webcam viewer or anything like that would work just fine anything that help you be able to see use your webcam and whatever your webcam would see is 
in the front of you. So um, I was able to walk around with the helmet on and without any trouble using my laptop right here. And this ain't no fancy laptop. It's just a standard uh, laptop. It's um, i core 5 processor. I mean, I like it, but I'm not selling this. I'm just telling you what I've used with the helmet. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and plug up the... Um, Go ahead and plug up some stuff to let you see. I mean, I'm plug up everything, but like I said, uh, how I got the setup. Now you don't have to have everything plugged up if you don't want to. It's all up to you. But uh, the fan has its own power. The webcam has its own power, and the video glasses has its own power. And um, the webcam, I mean the fan. I'm sorry, the fan actually has a switch for it. So even if you have it plugged up, but you don't want it on, sucking battery life from whatever you're using if say like you're just using a laptop and you don't want to have it on it actually has a switch right here it's on and off switch it's nice it's black it's right on the side of the helmet right next to where your glass where the um bluetooth headphone uh mic is it's pretty close so i want to make everything kind of close to each other and not out of the way and or abnormal and i found this nice little spot to put it on i painted this myself I've done everything myself. I'm like the creator of this, I guess. Anyway, I'm plugging in the... I'm plugging in my, um... fan right now. Plug this in right quick. Come on. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. Alright, got the fan plugged in. And I'll show you right here. Look, the fan is right here. I'm gonna flip this switch on the side. You'll see. You see that little knob? There's a switch right here. I'm gonna flip this switch, and you'll start seeing the fan move. See? Now the fan is moving. Obviously, you can see it. I'm gonna stop it again, and then flip the switch again. Off. On. It's running just fine. I could feel the fan um, blowing the air out. I could feel it right here, no problem. Works just fine, no problems whatsoever. Let's start it off. Okay, that's the first step. I showed you that the fan works just fine. And uh, now I'm going to unplug this. And I'll go ahead and plug in the webcam next. And then I'm going to show you the video. And then that'll pretty much conclude the rest of my uh, display of this. Anyway, I just plugged up my webcam. I just had this one little app called Web Viewer. Right there. Webcam Viewer version 1.0. I just used that to test out the webcam and everything. I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, one second, I'm sorry about all that. Okay, open that up. It takes a second. Like, once you, this, that webcam viewer is from iLogitech, I think. It, and, um, about it is, uh, it comes with, like, if you go, if you, obviously, if, I'm pretty sure you'll have internet or whatever, and it'll pretty much, uh, download all the drivers for you. Or you could just get the drivers yourself. It, it just all depends on how you feel about it. But um, once you do get it, see right right there, I have the iLogitech, uh, the Logitech, I'm sorry, uh, cam controller. You can actually zoom in and zoom out. Like right here, you'll see that plus sign. Hold on, I'm sorry. There's a little plus sign right there. Yeah, see it right there. Plus, is to increase the um to increase your zoom, and then minus is to decrease it. And as you can see over here, I'm zooming out right now. I'm a, this is a camera I'm using. Um, yes, you can see right here. You actually can see everything. And that's what the webcam can see right now. I'm gonna show you in a second. 
Um, I'm gonna move the helmet around so you can see like different views or whatever. I'm gonna disconnect this because right on here you can actually connect and disconnect the um, webcam so you don't have to see if you don't want to and you could change the resolution on it. So right now it's at 640 by 480 and I think that's 30 uh, frames per second the FPS. I'm gonna change it to let me see 920 to right there you'll see, I don't know if you can see it it's 920 come on 920 to to uh 720 that's basically 720p and uh then I'm gonna connect it I got a bigger because it's a bigger screen on um, like screen rate or whatever and see it works just fine it's up and running and I'm going to go ahead and just maximize this okay and now I'm gonna move the helmet I'm gonna zoom out now you can see that the helmet is still showing fit video through the front of the head the uh, to the front of it so I'm gonna turn it you see how I can turn it and it's showing everything that's in my room right now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit see right now it's looking at my uh, laptop so anything on the front of it, it's just like if you're looking at it yourself through but it's just through video glasses or so this video display you can see everything in my room how uh, hats whatever it's all through the front of this right here that little middle hole right there to see everything in front of it with the video camera works just fine there's no problems with it like I said it's 720p it works pretty well I'm just moving it around letting you see everything that it can see side to side up down there's a door over there you can see the door handle but it works just fine no problems and that's for the video camera And then, uh, now that I showed you that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the video display, and that'll conclude all this. But yeah, the everything is 720p. I wish I had 1080p, but those parts are a whole lot more expensive. So, uh, I guess you're just going to have to bear with that. I mean, 720p is still pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the video glasses. You'll see the video glasses turn on. And I'll show you, like you can actually, all this stuff that I have in here isn't hard to take apart either. So, I mean, this is my idea that I made. But if you feel like you can make something better, I mean, once you buy it, it sure is. You, I ain't gonna, I ain't no claims or I ain't gonna get mad at you or anything. And uh, what the hell can I really do about it? Let's see, right now I just plugged in the video glasses. And you see that little light came on. This is Vuzix. That right there, that plastic stuff, that's just plastic a plastic cover like a little film thing I it's brand new so I just didn't take it off of there that's just a little uh, plastic that goes over everything that's brand new that has like screens and stuff you could just peel that off if you want I left it on there because I didn't see the point of me peeling it off because it's it is brand new and uh, it gets hooked up to the computer through VGA I'm gonna do that right here. You'll see the side of my laptop has VGA output right there. Hold on. Right there, you see, I'm plugging right there. Uh, one second, I'm sorry. Uh, come on. It'll go in there, it's just. Having, I'm having a little trouble with it. There. Alright. Now it's connected. And uh, I'm going to flip the helmet over. And as you can see, the helmet is 
the camera is on you can you can't really see it all that well but you can see the light and uh but basically like I said you could take all this stuff apart none of this is actually that hard to come out a matter of fact I left it so where this only the padding is what's holding the glasses in because the glasses are real light it ain't like you need a whole lot of force to keep it in anywhere so you could just pull it out of there if you want to like I'm doing right now just to show you that it does work uh, if I could just see right there you can actually see inside the glasses my laptop sort of it's hard to see see right there I'm pretty sure you can see my recycle bin and that little detection thing that's right there it's just very hard to see through these through the camera but you can see it perfectly fine and there's two lenses you can see it perfectly fine see you see like the little window sign right there that yellow that orange part of it that orange part right there right there it's right there everything that the laptop can see you can see through your eyes right now it works perfectly fine I have had no problems out of it and here goes the webcam in the front if you wanted to see what that where it was exactly it's really it's really in there there's no problem it's not going nowhere that actually is inside of there you'll have to like pull it out just to get it out of there I mean really put a little force to pull it out of there but uh this is my invention that I made just by putting together a whole bunch of parts and like I said it has Bluetooth um, headset so it works really well like I was watching you could watch a movie off of it because my laptop has Bluetooth too so I can actually sit and watch a movie inside of my head and actually have Bluetooth stereo sound coming into it it's perfect basically I haven't had any problems like I said this is going to be on eBay I'll go ahead and put this back in here there's really no problems with any of these uh, all my equipment is perfectly fine and uh, like I said it works there's no problems I hope you like it and uh, once I do this bidding this is the only one I have I don't know if I'm gonna make more or not depends on like if people want it that bad I mean I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for making something out of everybody else's parts because I don't have a patent on it I ain't gonna lie <laughs> but uh, they only made this one I don't really feel like I want to make a whole bunch of these I thought about making one out of a motorcycle helmet since some motorcycle helmets have Bluetooth built into them anyway. But uh, I'm just giving you a nice little look at it. It's nice. I made it myself, like I said, painted it myself. It's a nice little black finish. And it probably weighs about four or five, maybe six pounds tops. So it's not really that heavy. And like I said, it'll work for, obviously you see my laptop. Obviously you see my laptop and it'll work for uh, regular PCs too. And it'll work for uh, PlayStation 3 with the added, the different um, uh, controller, like I said, that comes with the views. It's wrapped 1200. Um, so it has a different you'll get a second control this is just a PC version I had to buy this separately just so that I can have it work for my plate for my computer but um yeah you'll have two controllers for the views that I wear it has um you'll be able to use it for iPhones iPad uh, The PS3, the Xbox, as long as you're using the RCA cabling, there's no HDMI. That's the only thing I didn't do for this, anyway. Um, hope you like it. And uh, this is going on my YouTube channel. And if you guys like my YouTube channel, subscribe. I will be having other 
inventions that I've made on there soon, and I'll probably will be selling them on eBay too soon. Like I have a a gauntlet. I got like two different gauntlets that I've created. Another gauntlet that I'm working on right now, and uh, I'll show you guys that. This basically all this stuff is was kind of inspired by like Iron Man movies because I like Iron Man so much. But uh, I just didn't want to do Iron Man because I felt like, you know, if so many people did Iron Man, I want to do about a character that nobody even really knows about. You know, I want to do something a little different. So I picked Nightwing, or Robin, from uh, Batman. So, uh, like I said, please like, subscribe, and thank you guys. See you later, and goodbye.